All right, welcome to Project Hospital. There are several gameplay options. I've played through the tutorials, started the campaign, but um, there's also a bunch of challenges. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into Sandbox. Patients can die, so this is real. But we're going to have the unlock all departments um, just so we can kind of build as we need. But we're not doing free building. There is going to be money. We're going to have to be careful with our money. And we're just going to start in an empty lot. So we're literally going to start from scratch. And I love using the prefabs. Like you can, you know, you can build your foundations, you can build your walls, all that. Um, put all the equipment in, but prefabs are really nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with a corridor here. And the first time when I played my test, when I put my reception here, but I think what I want to do is put it like this. And because then, see, I put this little waiting room beside it. I quickly found out that's not enough. Um, see, this way we can, we could build out if we wanted to. Oh, actually. I kind of like the idea of this. Kind of do this configuration. And then we can even take this, actually, slide that over, slide that there, and then We'll put this here for now. We may have to delete it depending on where doors fall. But now we got a pretty significant waiting area going on there. Okay, now, very important piece of this puzzle is we need some doctor's office. And I kind of want to build them full scale so they have the maximum amount of equipment in them right off the bat. I don't know, maybe they all have the full amount of equipment. I can definitely fit a lot more in if I do something like this. Let's do this. And I want two. And then what I want to do is put in another one of these corridors here and then here and we'll rearrange all this furniture here and get it some of it we may just delete depending on where doors fall then I want to put in, oh, I got to watch my money. We're going to put in another one here, but that's plenty for now. Okay, so what do we still need? We got to have a restroom to make this thing fully functional. That's what this red is. Now red zero means in order for us to have an emergency department, we got to meet the requirements in red. We already got a waiting room, we got three doctor's offices, we got corridors, receptions, which these aren't even required. We have to have a restroom. And then if we want to start hospitalizing people, then we need all this stuff. But as of right now, we need to add a restroom and we need a doctor. Piece of cake.
Um, I'll have a visit up here. Restroom. Six by four, six by six. So that's just two stalls. And I think I want to build it so it actually goes into the waiting room rather than the hallway. And then let's go ahead and move that over. Okay. Perfect. So now, boom, we got a check mark for rooms. Now we need doctors. Who is our most qualified? Ooh, it's close between James Lee and Mary Rodriguez. I think James. We're going to hire you. And we can now accept patients. First insurance companies are automatically contracted. And the other thing we're going to do is, I don't know if we need to, but James is going to be our chief doctor. Um, and we're quickly going to hire more doctors, but um, to start off with, we got what we need. Oh, actually, we got. Let's add some walls. Looks kind of silly here. What do we want our exterior to look like. I think brick look nice. Get rid of that. Come up here. And you'll find we're, we're going to be bulldozing walls and adding on constantly. We also want to put in a wall there. And then, well, I don't even know if we needed that wall. Because we're going to turn around and put a real nice entrance. So let's go ahead and make this front brick boom oh yeah all right well let's get underway here and let's do that actually let's get rid of those completely so now we should, whoops, once we hit play, start bringing in some patients. I guess, uh, should we hire a receptionist? And what we gotta look for is we need one who has the reception. Hmm, none of them even have the receptionist skill. So we're just going to wait for now. But let's get it underway. Matter of fact, let's speed it up a little bit here. This is the insurance company we have. It's the uninsured. They only pay 70% 70, 70 but it's what we got for now. We got to please the insurance companies so we can get some better companies okay see so we've already got another patient coming into wait so let's go ahead and just hire a second doctor and I think we're gonna go with Mary because her general medicine is really high do basic examinations she's got a pretty darn good diagnosis skill so yeah we're gonna go ahead and We're going to go ahead and have two doctors right off the bat. However, James Lee is our, our head here. And we can rename characters, so uh, keep in mind that... Oh, we're already going to... 
I'm I'm a huge huge fan of the show. So if you get it, fantastic. He kind of, sort of, well, not really, looks like him. But uh, we're going to give the chance, all you guys, all our viewers, you've got the chance to rename some of our doctors, our nurses. So uh, let me know if you want to name anybody, because I love doing that. I love taking taking feedback. Kind of been away from YouTube for a while. I've been doing the Twitch thing, a lot of live streaming, which I love because it gives me a chance to interact live with with my viewers. So if you're not not a follower on Twitch, Winter Hermit Gaming, give us a follow over there, um, and you can follow along live with some games. speed it up a little bit. Actually, let's let's go ahead and check in here and so, so you guys can see. Okay, so they've already diagnosed him. 100% he's got influenza. They've prescribed him antivirals and rest. This patient, bronchitis. Um, they haven't yet, but they're going to prescribe him antibiotics. So, we can now contract cheapo care insurance so let's close mr martinez so cheapo care will pay 80 percent the premiums and it's going to unlock more uh objectives missions whatever you want to call them but like this one here our uninsured if we can treat 10 patients in a day we get a twenty thousand dollar government grant um, this one here, our first one's going to be build and hire staff for one stat lab. If we can do that, $20,000 governmental grant. We're going to go ahead and accept patients from them because we want to bring more patients in. So right now, it's basically saying 20 patients are coming into our clinic in a day. We've treated one, none we've had to leave untreated. Dr. Gregory House is going over here to grab a new patient. Let's check out our patient here. At least I thought he was getting a patient. Susan Green, 10 hidden symptoms. And we're not going to, oh, he must be getting this one. So we're going to go to Christopher Barkley. $350 payment. Thank you. Five hidden symptoms. So now what's going to happen is Dr. Gregory House is assigned to Mr. Barkley. And he's going to start with an interview. It's like when you go to the doctor's office, he's going to ask some questions, you know. What hurts, blah, blah, blah. Um... He revealed he had abdominal pain, nausea, and hunger. And from that, Greg House was able to deduct that he had a pork tapeworm. Um, you know, there's a lot of times where these symptoms are going to give a lot of possible diagnosis. So you, they got to keep doing things. They might have to collect stools, do a blood draw, um, do a physical examination. But that one was easy. He's prescribing him some meds, printing out his prescription. And have a good day, Mr. Barkley. Boom, 210 bucks. We're up to three treated patients. How are we doing over here? Susan Green. Susan had the cold. All you can do for the cold is rest. So, and we can manually do this. We can switch this actually to where we control it, where we have to walk through everything. We have to say, okay, we want to do an interview. We want to do a physical examination. Um, okay, we're going to do chest oscillation. So it's kind of cool. You can get very in depth. I mean, just like you can place all these individual objects. 
I don't know if I went through that when we started. You can build the walls and place all the objects. However, I really like these prefabs. Um, I wish they had more, actually, like a few more configurations. But you also can save a prefab. So you can build it the way you want and save it and then just plop them down when you want. Which is kind of cool. All right, let's speed it up. We want to get through some objectives. Five patients. I'm getting a little bit of a waiting room here. We might. Oh, okay. So there's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more diagnostic equipment, laboratories, or radiology rooms. The patient will leave soon. Um, so right here, um, it's either possible <laughs> fracture of the finger or a hand contusion. So clearly we would need an x-ray lab. Pause. Um, I don't know if I want to build an x-ray lab yet. I think the stat lab is next. The stat lab's kind of your basic lab that's going to do uh, blood draws, stool samples, um, very basic lab work. Um, I don't think we're ready for an x-ray yet. So let's go back to Mr. Barker. Now what we can do is we can gamble. And in this instance, I'm not because if I say it's a fracture of a finger, there's nothing I can do for it. Um, I don't have an orthopedic um, department yet. Now, if it was a hand contusion, I can prescribe some numbing ointment and send them home. If these numbers were flip-flopped, if it was slightly more likely that it was a hand contusion, I'd gamble. But I'm not going to, so we're going to send him off to a, another hospital. Send an untreated patient to another hospital. Um, let's look at that stat lab, see if we can get that going. The only thing is, is my plan is I want to leave room on both sides here for another doctor's office. So I want to have six. Boom, 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 three, one, two, three. I think as we grow, we need at least, at least three doctor's office realistically probably more and see like this is our ambulance bay so eventually we're gonna have an entrance here in some trauma centers that being said I want my x-ray labs and stuff to probably be close by there like we'll probably have a corridor that comes up here and then we'll have radiology here and we can build multiple floors we can put in elevators and build a second floor which is what we'll start doing like with our orthopedic department our surgery department cardiology neurology they'll all be on separate floors but for main purposes our clinic I'm gonna call this the basic clinic. You know, it's just walk in, see a doctor, and our emergency department are all gonna kind of be together. Um, so stat lab. What's it gonna cost me to put in another? I, t I shouldn't have put in this doctor's office. I should have put in that one. Ah, what's it gonna cost me for another doctor's office? 5,000, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and put it in. That way we know. Now we gotta move this plant so it's not right in front of the door. The only 
only thing I wish is we need a we need to be able to rotate around like at bare minimum the four dire you know four directions so okay we put in that doctor's office so now we need another corridor what am I doing right there another corridor and then we need a stat lab rotate that around I almost should try to leave room for another doctor's office is that enough room oh, I could probably measure it out right to that white of that basket so the stat lab would be right there yes yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna leave room for another doctor's office so that way as we grow we can plop another one in there I like it I like it a lot okay let's just go ahead and finish this off throw in a wall wall and a wall just so it's a uh, Oh, it's not building because I spent way too much money. Oh, that stat lab was expensive. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a small loan. Enough to get us in the green. Because here's what's going to happen. As soon as we have this... Oh, I shouldn't have even taken the loan, but oh well. As soon as I put a technician in here, we're going to get a grant for 20000 Because... It means that we've completed that objective okay boom so there we go now we just got to take out that wall well we took out the plant no big deal we can live without that so now let's go over to management and we need a technician specifically one with biochemistry and Mr. Frank Smith is very good at biochemistry, actually. 93%. So look at that. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Build and hire staff for one stat lab. Reward, $20,000 grant. Fantastic. Now let's see where we're at with these. The next one there is an x-ray lab. And it's going to reward us with 10 more clinic patients per day. So that'll be a nice addition. And what to, oh, we're paused. I wonder nothing's happening. Clinic's open for another five and a half hours. Hopefully we can get four more patients and then we will be set on the next objective the next thing will be an x-ray which we kind of talked we want to put radiology down here so I think it's going to be kind of an expensive adventure since we've got to uh, kind of build a hallway down there. And I know I'm probably going to waste some space, probably drive some people nuts, but at the same time, eh, it gives our hospital more character, you know? It's not just a big square block. Even puddles building up. Yeah, there's puddles building up from the rain. Mm. 
Okay, so I can I want to complete this this day and hopefully get this next grant money. Oh, no clear diagnosis. See this one here. There's so many things, most of which involve X-ray. We're gonna go ahead and send them home, or send not send them home, send them to a a more equipped hospital. Well, see, look, we had a patient that I think we sent off to the stat lab. Here's another one. Yep, another one where there's certainly nothing we can do. They've got a major leg injury. Send them off. But there we go. We treated 10 patients. Very exciting. Actually, let's slow it back down and let's see what our next one is for them. Treat 20 patients a day and get another grant. Well, the problem with that is we're only getting 20 and we know we can't treat all 20. There's some we just cannot treat. So I think the x-ray lab is next, but we do have 42,000. So let's start building and actually I probably wouldn't have to do the corridor because that assigns it to a department so like let me go here so really I should have probably built this well yeah, it's all under that because as we get radiology you'll see these are all lit up. They're all assigned to the emergency department. This is what's assigned to the radiology. Nothing. Because the other thing we need to assign to the emergency department is going to be cleaning. Um, so let's go ahead and just build a foundation. There it is, build foundation. And I want it six wide, right? Because actually, I want to go look at something. Prefab. If I opt, that's six, that's four. I might just build these corridors. Actually, they're only a thousand. Let's just do that. There we go. Let's just do that. That only cost us two thousand. So then let's go in. Uh, the, the bummer is, I think I assigned that. I did, I assigned it to, oh well, no matter. Let's start working on, okay, we're in the radiology, we need radiology stuff. An x-ray room is going to cost us 23500 that is literally all of our money right now. But this right over here, is going to be the start of radiology down here and here. Because then my plan is this is going to be kind of the trauma area. So boom. Okay. Now let's see where we're at here. I still need a waiting room and a technologist. Somebody with good radiology. Looks like you're the best at 41%. Okay, so now we're going to get 10 more patients a day. And I think we're going to have to take out a small loan so we can put in 
the radiology waiting room. So right now we've got a $20,000 loan. Now we got a $40,000 loan. But it is what it is. Okay, so we need a waiting room. Oh, and I think I'm just going to build the big one. I don't think it's hardly worth the small one. One, two, three, four seats. One, two, three. The big one's only, I guess, got a little bit more. This one's got a snack machine, though. Two thousand, fifteen hundred. This one's actually cheaper. But we're going to go with it. So let's wall it off. And actually, for now. We're going to go ahead and wall that in like that. And now, if we go here, see these two are lit up. I thought they all lit up. Not accessible. Oh, that's why. Well, let's put a. It's going to open that hallway up, but let's put a door in. I think that would be cool. Door. See, now it lights up. And like I said, the only thing I wish. Wish I could reassign this corridor. Anybody knows how to do that? Let me know, because I would love to make this part of radiology. Okay, so we now have a functioning x ray department. We're now getting 30 patients a day. I think we're probably going to have to hire another doctor. I would bet pretty highly on that. What's the other stuff we can build in the emergency department? You know, not a whole lot over here. So actually we could eventually make the common room across from the stat lab. The common room is like the break room for the employees. All right, let's crank it up a little bit. I'm excited. We got, got a working radiology. Look at that, and we're x-raying people already. Now the problem is, if it comes up that it's broken, there's nothing we can do. Our next goal there is reach 2,000 daily profit at emergency. That was a foot contusion, good. Let's give them some numbing ointment. But yeah, if they've got broken bones, can't do anything. We have no orthopedic department. We've got no surgery department. But yeah, we can build an intensive care unit, general surgery department, internal medicine, the orthopedics, the cardiology, and the neurology. Three hundred and twenty bucks. I know where I am. Let's look at my budget here. I guess it's kind of hard for me to show a profit when I'm building stuff all the time. But hopefully we're at $10,000. Let's see if we can get that number to climb. 
we're not going to do much more building. Our clinic's closed for the day. Everybody's going home. And this was just day one. Day one. And I think that means we're just going to call it an episode. We've got a good half hour here. We've successfully started. And it looks kind of wonky now, but we got a plan. There's going to be another doctor's office there, one there, and then quite possibly there. So we're going to have eight doctor's office. We got a stat lab where we can do blood draws, stool samples. We got a nice reception area and waiting room here. We now have a radiology department with x-ray. I think we got a good start. So yeah, again, if you don't follow us on Twitch, jump over to Twitch, Winter Hermit Gaming. Give us a follow there so you can join in on our live streams and chat live with us. If you want to rename any of our doctors, well, I guess we just have one other doctor now. We do have some technicians. Uh, let us know. Be sure to click that, uh, that subscribe button here on YouTube. Follow along for more episodes. Project Hospital, we're definitely doing more. There's going to be more coming soon i'll probably be pumping these episodes out one after another so hey thanks for watching winter hermit gaming have a good day game on <laughs>